Hello, Luigi tonight. This is Luigi X Rules playing Luigi's Mansion 3. In the last episode, we, well, we wanted to go to floor 12, the spectral catch, but we sadly ended up having to go back to the boiler works. We found another gem, but that's about it. But we did get um, a Poltergeist G00 upgrade. I guess I should mention what we're doing in this episode. We are going back to the Spectral Catch with our new Poltergust upgrade. Um, there's a globe back there. So there's gonna be a way back there. But anyway, with this Poltergust upgrade, remember EGAD said that there's certain things we can plug into. And what do we do? We've got... The Super Suck. With the Super Suck, we can suck way harder than we could before. So we can even stuff that move a bit earlier. We can get... Then we have to leave this as long as we want to do. We can do it for as long as we want, that's what we do, but we're going to have absolutely every floor in this game, including that floor too. Looks like we can get into some of the floorboards. Yeah, get all the wall as well. Just grab everything. Yeah, you too. Come on. Let's look at that, it looks like. But... There's the boot. There's the rim. It'll... Pirate ship. Looks like... A bit of a limit to how far I can go, but come on, the last thing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's everything. And then we can press B to quit. Oh. And would you look at that? The way forward is open, but I did notice that we revealed this pipe over here. Also, I reduced the game audio. So hopefully it's not too... Hopefully the game's not too loud or too quiet. Is there weird gold bars that you can't suck up? In here. Dang, lots of money for this exhibit. That's suspicious. Already know there's nothing behind this pirate wheel. Already got the money. Oh, but there's fish in it now. Oh, if you keep on spinning it, there's golden fish. And that appears to be it. Alright, well let's see, I don't see anything. Let's grab these gold fires before they disappear. So is that really everything in this room? Okay. I do have a projectile now. I don't know what exactly we can do with it. Can we launch it at this chandelier? I mean, we can. It doesn't do anything. I wonder if there's a way to lower that. Seems like there should be. Well, in any case, I'm gonna move on to the main room here. It's a giant pirate cave. That sure was a skull. Now this floor, if I remember correctly, pretty much all of the gems are in this one room. Which makes it rather annoying for gem hunting. That's weird. I think it was a box around right there. Oh, there's something here. Alright. Let's suck up these things and hey we have a flag and now we can pull this. Alright, first gem. Alright, All right, we already found one of the six. I wonder if these are actually going to be listed in order. I believe it, honestly. Alright.
Okay, there's a lot of ground to cover. Oh, hey, I can actually slam this. Bats. I feel like a lot of my HP is taken away by bats. At least a surprising percentage of them. Of it, at least. And you never know where the other five gems can be. I'm fairly certain they're all in this room, so. Gotta be extra careful. Whoa, ho, ho, that money went everywhere. I can only find like two coins worth of it. Oh, we got projectiles. We can definitely do something with them. I'm sure, are a lot of potatoes around here. Is there anything else to get it? We're near the end of the room, we've already only found one gem that kind of worries me. Oh, what you got? Ooh. The teeth open to show. Oh. Alright, well, we're in the middle here. Now. Get out of here. I just realized there's a bit of a slightly hidden bridge over here. Oh. Wow. Wow. Alright. What did you get in there? Probably supposed to launch a coconut or something, but it's you work the same. Sure have been a lot of these possessed things lately. Oh, good job. Wow. Luigi. Just cold. I'm pretty sure most of the gems in this room are in this one room. So, there's a definitely a lot that I'm missing. Yeah, as of right now, I don't get what the purpose of being there is. So let's go over here. Anything in the sides? No? Okay. Then let's go through here. Hello. What the heck? There's a beach inside of a hotel. That doesn't make any Whoa. sense. Alright. Hey, you got some more exploring to Oh, got more sand so you can cover more secrets. Whoa. Now that I think about it, maybe I exaggerated how many gems were in that last room. So there might be some in this room, too. Can I push sand over the water? No, okay. Can I create a hidden pathway? No. Are there any projectiles I can launch at it? That's the process you gotta go through. Like, it counts like this coconuts up there. Can I knock him down? Hmm. Dang, look at this room on the mini map. Wow. It's huge. <laughs> huge. Oh, snake. Cool. Can't wait to get hit again. What the heck is spiders? I've already taken 20 damage and I'm not even at the boss. Okay, thank you. Oh, here we go. Coconuts. So, can I launch a coconut at this thing? Yes, I can. Oh, I might need another one. Oop, there's still one more it's looking like. I think I got the other coconut, yeah! Alright, is this a rule of three? Uh, yes it is, we got another gem ghost. 120 HP, they're sure are getting up there. Wait a second, I feel like this is going by a bit slower. We were actually able to get that... Okay, those are definitely not listed in order. Um, interesting, we were actually able to beat it with the six slams, which is the most we've ever done at, up to this point. 
That's very unusual. But I guess enough diddly daddlying or whatever. Hmm. That moon looks nailed to the wall. Is there like any other projectiles do you think I can get? Uh, whatever. Let's just yeah. ring the bell. I saw a pirate ship in the background. Oh, and it looks like it's moving now. And here it is. Got a ghost as the helm or whatever. Ooh. Are we gonna get to explore this pirate ship? That would be cool. No, there's just a plank onto the walk. Wow. Dang, Luigi. Could it take any longer? Well, now we have a way onto the pirate ship. So let's go and check it out. Oh, got a little seating area on the deck. Oh, hey, there's a toad on this floor. <laughs> At least you look slightly concerned by that. Oh, but there's a ghostly figure in the water. There it is! A shark that lost an arm and an eye. <laughs> he has a safe place to put that. Oh, we got hiders. Looks like he's trying to this up. I wonder if he can eat up the bombs. Can I like... Can I the bombs? I'm not sure. Part, a large portion of these bosses is just trying to figure out what the heck to do. Just try and... So I'm thinking that we gotta have him launch a bomb inside of his mouth, right? But, uh, like, it has to, like, land in his mouth, I think, because we're pushing it. Oh, when all else fails, I think you need to get I don't think that did anything. So, can we like flash these ghosts? Also, I just realized that they're the tidy guys. Getting eaten is not the solution. I swear I tried wondering it before and it didn't work. What? Um why? Why do you suck it up the bar? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, that's three. Done. <clears throat> Done. 380 feet doesn't seem like all that much, honestly. Eye patch. Yep. So, with the Poltergust upgrade, we can actually slam more times. I guess I forgot to mention that. But of course, this boss doesn't really like to demonstrate it because he has damage caps. Alright, so now we've got second hit, which makes it more aggressive. And we're gonna throw more bombs. Alright. 
That's weird. Yeah, the bombs that they're rolling doesn't... Uh, he, he doesn't eat, but he eats the ones that you suck up. Yeah, no. Wow, once you realize what you need to do, this is a very easy boss. Very rinse and repeat. Yeah, and very damage cappy. Oh, this is different. So for its final phase, he becomes the wall of the ship instead of the floor. Yeah, I mean, that does look rather scary. Probably attach ourselves here. Now that we can attach ourselves. I don't know. Bombies. Yeah, it's open, so it's gonna be the bomb. Alright. There. There's number two. And then we're gonna get something. Gotta bigger attack again. There's three. Is that enough, though? Oh. Oh. I guess I'm not going to do this. Oh, it's freaking now. Alright, but it looks like we did it! Wow, he's hanging! Oh, that's not good. Wow. Epic final phase, that's for sure. So... Let's go. Oh, come on. Number three, all right. Now, oh, he's out. He's also up there, though. All right, come on, fiery shark. It's like there, I think maybe he hit his hook. Haha, uh -huh. directly over you. Alright, come on, do your big ol' hook. Alright, I'll just go over here again. So we're supposed to flash on Oh, there we go. Alright, this should be the final round. And <laughs> denied by final A press. And with that, we finally got the next elevator button. Oh gosh, that took me forever to figure out what to do during that boss because you know, you can just suck on those things regularly, no big deal. Oh, but well, that's right. Oh, hey, poultry pup. Been a while since you've been relevant. Can you do stuff like that more often? That would be nice. So now, we can save the toad! Hooray! We just dealt with the toad in the last episode, but it wasn't a new one. Ooh, now we get their treasure! Do it all. Oh, yeah. What? What? What did that do? Oh, is it saying? There's a secret bridge on the side. Okay, let me take a capture of that. 
Ah. Now I got these things, they'll die automatically if earlier is anything to judge by. Yeah, you can see they'll just combust from being out of water <laughs> for long. It's a lot of money. 50,000 is looking more and more possible as they go on. Of course, I'm probably going to have to spend a bunch of money on gem finders, but... So the toad's on top of the cannon. First, better do that, whatever that was. All right, I guess we shouldn't delay any longer. Come on out, toad. It's the yellow one. I don't know why he was in the air for so long. Well done, Luigi. That's another Toad rescue. Like always, Toad should probably wait with me in the lab until things are safe. Why don't we take Toad to the elevator, Luigi? Hang on a second. I, um, turned on Egad's hints to see if he would give you any hints on the boss. He did not. Thanks for that, Egad. So I guess we should move on with this. Sure would be nice if I didn't have to climb down that ladder. Toad doesn't, so I don't see why I have to. And with that treasure map, we might actually be able to... Is there anything we should do with this anchor? It doesn't look like it. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything we can do with the moon. Oh, alright, there goes Toad. Um... Point to the map, he <laughs> went into the other room. <laughs> Dang. So, also, apparently, yeah, there's a secret path over this way. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sweet. Whoa. Oh, yes. That was a weird one. And then there's another bridge in that way. I guess the toad can come along for the journey. Oh, okay. That was weird. <laughs> So first of all, pearl. Second of all, there's coconuts. Oh boy, we don't need them for too much. And now there's a chest. That's a, a lot of coins. Jeez. Okay, and there is a gem. Wait for that. Oh, did Toad collect it? Thank you. That saves a lot of time, actually. Oh, this is nice. Alright, well, we found half of the gems. I'm pretty sure there might be one more in this room, and then the rest are in that other room. For some reason, I thought there was something we could do with the moon. Maybe when we come back for the boo. Oh, Toad really wanted to get out of there. So, I still don't know what the purpose of that is. So yeah, I might have been exaggerating how many gems were in this room, but just... I'm pretty sure gem finders are going to be useless on this floor, because... I'm fairly certain the rest of the gems are... ...in this room, or in that back room. I think it might be three and three. But anyway, let's just... ...get this toad... ...down to Egad. Goodbye. Oh, that's right. Whenever we send a toad. Ooh. Have I ever mentioned that statue of King Boo? I don't think I have. We haven't seen her in quite some time. Oh. Looks like she's getting a word from her boss. King Boo! There was just a tiny slip up, but it's no problem. Not at all. We'll have Luigi locked away soon. If I could just have a little bit more time. Oh, there's the other two paintings.
Oh, he took one of them. As a punishment, I guess. But now she's huh? really angry. Oh, oh hello, you get. Huh? Yellow. You've now found all of the toads. That just leaves Princess Peach and Mario. Just where could they be held captive? Regardless, we're almost there, Luigi. We are almost there. There's only three more floors left. Obviously, I'm gonna have a huge exploration video where I find like absolutely all of the gems. So it does seem like I feel like there should be something related to that pirate wheel, but I'm not sure if there actually is. Uh, I guess with that and this elevator button, I will end off the episode. Look at this loadout, though. I mean, once it zooms out again. Look at how many we are. We're on the final set of two. Alright, fitness center actually sounds like something that could be in a hotel, unlike random pirate nonsense. So, fitness center is where we'll, we'll be going in the next episode. Until next time, goodbye.